Hi, this is Dr. Stu. I'm an ED doc in New York, and I'm here to give you science-based practical tips on COVID-19. You know, I was just walking outside, walking my dog outside, and it just happened to be seven o'clock. And it was really cool to hear people opening their windows and banging on pots and screaming and singing and just connecting with each other. Because here in New York, it's a little isolated because everyone's staying home, as we're instructed to do, to break the chain of spread for the, of the virus. So um, if you haven't started doing this in your city, a great tradition. It's, it's at exactly 7 p.m. every night. Open your window and just say, hey, or bang a pot or make some kind of noise so that everybody knows that we're still connected. So I want to answer some questions. I'm going to get my list of questions and pick one today. And today, here's a great question. This comes from Robin in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it says, dear Dr. Stu, I see people wearing gloves all the time. Can you tell me the best technique for using gloves? And I've seen something called sterile technique. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, thanks, Robin. That's a great question. And let's talk about gloves. So I have, here we go. I have a box of gloves here in front of me. These happen to be nitrile gloves. Um, you can use latex or nitrile. Um, if you have a latex allergy, please be certain that you don't actually use latex gloves. So nitrile, these blue ones, work just fine. So there's technique for putting on gloves and for taking off gloves. So let's take a look. Obviously, putting on gloves is fairly easy. Everyone's put gloves on before. So basically, you stick your fingers in the right holes, which I should be able to do here. Um, and then you have your gloves on. Now, I see people wearing gloves all day long. And that's not really that useful because the gloves will pick up the germs and then you just transfer them wherever you're going. So there's really no difference between gloves and not gloves. Um, the key is to actually wash your hands a lot. So gloves are great if you're going to a supermarket or you're going to handle something directly. But wearing a pair of gloves all day is not so useful. So when you come back from the store and you have your gloves on, you need to consider that the gloves are contaminated, right? You don't want to touch them. So you might be thinking, okay, Dr. Stu, how do we get the gloves off? Here's the way you get the gloves off, right? So here's the first step is to take one hand, doesn't matter which one, and grab the glove on the contaminated side because this hand is safe and this is the contaminated side. So I want to grab it down by the cuff, down by the bottom, and I want to grab it here without touching my skin, and I want to pull my hand out of the glove. So the glove is now inside out. The next step is to curl the glove up in my hand. So now I have a clean hand, and I've got a glove that's contaminated with a dirty glove on the inside. Now you might be thinking, okay, so I don't want to touch this now because it's contaminated. And that's right. So what you want to do now is you want to reach underneath the glove to the clean side, which is against your hand. And when you're there, you then pull the glove up and over your hand so that the glove is inside out. So now I have the clean side of the glove on the outside. All the dirty parts are on the inside. And I can now take this and throw it away. Now the key, the secondary thing to do, the key to this whole thing, is to then, once you throw the gloves away in the garbage can, the key is to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. And we'll talk about proper hand washing technique in, on one of the next videos, but you need to wash your hands for 20 seconds. So that's how you take off gloves and maintain a sterile, in a sterile fashion. Um, that'll keep you from contaminating yourself. Thanks very much for sending in that question. If you have a question that you'd like us to answer, please go to our website, www.drstu.org. That's www.doctorstu.org. And we'll see you tomorrow.